The two-day forum converged uh, tourism stakeholders keen on exploring diverse investments and uh, branding opportunities to promote the destination and unlock brighter prospects for the travel and hospitality industry. Stakeholders are meeting here to find viable linkages for destination marketing, charting collaborative efforts to elevate the Gambia's tourism landscape, fostering awareness and interest in repositioning the smiling coast to become more competitive in the travel industry. Dr. Mike Fivius, the Director General of the Journey, emphasized the need for more foreign direct investment in diversifying the Gambia's tourism sector. Well, um, having foreign investors come and invest in tourism here in the Gambia, um, especially if it's done in partnership with local product owners here, so that we have the combination of local and foreign, foreign investors can bring in, obviously bring in new capital and uh, invest in the destination, but they also can bring innovation. And uh, many operators that operate internationally, hotel operators, tour operators, uh, transport operators, have also experience in other destinations and new trends in the way the market is developing. So that can bring also new concepts, new ideas into the Gambia. The Gambia's unique attractions, cultural heritage, and natural beauty forms a core part of discussions here as officials look to harness the Gambia's tourism potential through strategic investments, infrastructure development and a public-private partnership. There, there's a lot of opportunities here, not only tourism but everything that is tourism related. Investors should uh, come to uh, set up an industry where they can make products for the tourism industry because everybody has to drink and eat. We should have uh, investors coming to, to set up factory to make drinks. Coke, Fanta, Sprite, we don't have that. And there's a lot of uh, uh, potential when it comes to uh, wildlife. We should have a game park, then we don't have to go to Senegal anymore. I think that could be a great investment. Uh, upcountry lodges, if they build some nice lodges upcountry, that would be a great investment as well. Um, boats, because we are not utilizing the river. And that could attract a lot of different tourists. The import of collaborative efforts between government agencies, private sector stakeholders and local communities were emphasized as key requirements to ensure cohesive and sustainable tourism development frameworks. I believe so. There's a lot happening in tourism at the moment. Um, Today is part of that process. Um, we really need a strategy for the future for tourism in the Gambia. We should be focusing much more on nature tourists, eco-tourists cultural tourists, because they're all the market trends at the moment. That's what people want globally. And Gambia is very well placed to provide all of those things, but at the moment we're not really doing it. We need support from central government. There's a certain um, capacity gap in terms of the Gambia Tourism Board and the Ministry of Tourism and the NCAC. Um, but all of that can be addressed as part of this program. And capacity building is very much something that's being focused on at the moment. Um, we have our new tourism minister, which is very positive. Um, he seems very open to our ideas. So, yes, we do expect some cooperation from the government also. Betty Sala, a representative of the Denton Bridge Boating and Fishing Association, outlined the balancing of a tourism investment with environmental sustainability and a cultural preservation in the Gambia. Uh, when we look at uh, the environment, is a buzzword right now, and in the Gambia in particular, given the coastal and uh, general erosion that we are experiencing through deforestation and other natural elements, climate change, um, whatever tourism we do look at has to be environmentally conscious, environmentally focused, and environmentally responsible tourism. In terms of culture, I think we need to really look at the Gambia I think our biggest selling point is our people and our cultural diversity. And the beauty of the cultural diversity is the, uh, the cornucopia of experiences that it offers our visitors. And to keep that alive, to keep the authenticity of our culture alive and relevant today. This two-day deliberation will help inform the development of a strategic five-year action plan aligned with the Gambia Tourism Board's budget capacities, guiding tourism marketing efforts from 2025 onwards. Omin Jai, GRTS.